The software is called Karma, a sophisticated cyber tool that can hack into iPhones. The United Arab Emirates reportedly hired former U.S. intelligence operatives in 2016 to use the tool against its rivals and political enemies. A Reuters investigation revealed hundreds of people were targeted. So this included surveillance of dissidents, journalists, rivals in the region, and as we found out in our story, it also eventually included fellow Americans. An iPhone used by the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, was hacked. Also targeted was a human rights activist known as the Iron Woman of Yemen. Tawakol Karman became a prominent figure of Yemen's Arab Spring and was awarded the 2011 Nobel Peace Prize. It's unclear what information was obtained. The cyber tool cannot intercept phone calls. Unlike similar software, Karma can hack into iPhones fairly quickly, giving access to documents, location information, passwords, and other sensitive material. Here, what was really unusual is that all you needed was the person's phone number or email address, and it would automatically send a text message to that person. They didn't have to click on it. They didn't need to interact with it at all. It would just automatically begin to infiltrate the person's iPhone. Spying on rivals isn't new. Sophisticated cyber weapons, however, were usually limited to global superpowers. The digital era has broken that mold, with foreign leaders now competing for the most sophisticated hacking tools and personnel. These revelations could further damage an already strained relationship between Qatar and the United Arab Emirates, which is one of the four nations that has imposed a blockade on Qatar since June 2017. By the end of that year, Apple said security updates to its iPhones made Karma less effective. But with every update, hackers start working on new cyber tools to get around them and offer to their clients. Katia Lopez-Sodoyan, Al Jazeera.